Navy films of fire on board the carrier USS Hancock. On 21st January, a TBM returning from a strike on Formosa landed on the flight deck while carrying several 500-pound bombs. As the plane taxied in, the bombs exploded. Fire immediately breaks out on the flight deck and spreads to the hangar deck below, burning planes and materiel. Firefighting crews use foam and water to bring the fire under control. In accordance with plans for fighting a deck fire, the ship is turned to starboard, thereby making an eight-degree list to port. This permits the men to work on the windward side of the fire and helps wash the burning gasoline over the side. The Hancock's planes landed on other carriers while the fire was being put out. Wounded personnel are removed to sick bay. Many of the crew, including doctors and medical corpsmen needed to care for the casualties, were temporarily trapped below deck. Ten minutes after the explosion, the flight deck fire is brought under control, and a few minutes later, the hangar fire is put out. Repair work starts 40 minutes after the accident. Steel plates are laid over the hole in the flight deck, and in one hour and 40 minutes, all emergency repairs are completed. The first plane lands on the repaired deck. Seven officers and 43 enlisted men lost their lives in the accident. is about to commence. Parliament and press. During these attacks, scores of peaceful citizens met on merit. These things happened in the very heart of Piccadilly Circus itself. Did not into definite fact. The opinion of experts, the devastation at home and abroad, buildings smashed, towns demolished, millions... Children. We love them all. They, the children, I mean. But cuddle, the people of Tooting show their public spirit by of 2,500 of their poorer kiddies seaside. If it were the next stop, the seaside. The man of the film editor says us we've arrived at Littlehampton. Perish this glimpse. Entering Pardo, our troops are greeted by Filipino civilians. Machine guns and ammunition are hauled to the front in native carts called tatarmillas. During the first day's fighting, 88 Jap troops are killed and 16 taken prisoner. Our troops approach Cebu City. Retreating Japs filled the streets with mines and planted booby traps in homes and public buildings. Whole blocks were destroyed by demolition charges, but harbor facilities were undamaged. Fort San Pedro, an old military installation in the city. Capture of Cebu ends the Jap hold on all the central Philippines. In the general uncertainty of war, one fact remains certain. The enemy is always dangerous. The enemy always wants to kill Americans. The enemy does not slack off. Is the news good from Russia? Remember the lesson of December. As another Japanese admiral died, remember the Ardennes forest. Does it look as though finally we can take it easy? Remember the 78,000 Americans lost in the Christmas holidays. The men in the line pay for counterattacks in dead, wounded and missing. How do you intend to pay? What were you doing the week the German army came back to Belgium? What are you doing this week? What will you be doing next week? the world, throngs of people hail the end of the war in Europe. It is five years and more since Hitler marched into Poland. Years full of suffering and death and sacrifice. 
Now the war against Germany is won. A grateful nation gives thanks for victory. Hundreds of thousands crowd into American churches to give thanks to God. Looking down on the beachhead established by 10th Army invasion forces on the southwest coast of Okinawa Island, in addition to the more than 1,500 Navy and Coast Guard warships which participated in the attack on the Japanese island, scores of cargo vessels are anchored offshore to supply our troops with needed materiel. Hundreds of small landing craft, alligators and ducks, ply back and forth between the beach and ships carrying supplies. Hastily constructed causeways and newly built docks facilitate unloading operations. Troops, tanks and other equipment move inland over one of the island's main highways. Spearheads drive forward from the beachhead to cut the island in two. Marine units then push north while the 24th Army Corps strikes south toward the capital city of Naha main center of Jap resistance. Repairing one of Okinawa's major airstrips pitted with bomb craters, both the important Yontan and Katena airfields were seized within a few hours after our landings. Missing. Unarmed and defenseless American prisoners Comrades of these men fell to the machine guns of our enemies. Fire! Four weeks later, their frozen bodies, hands and ankles bound, were found where they fell. These Belgian enemies of the Third Reich, too, were unarmed and defenseless. No destruction of Reichstags. The enemy is resourceful, courageous, desperate. The Nazi party is willing to sacrifice every building and every soul in Germany to stave off defeat. Reserves of men and materiel have been hoarded for the day of counterattack. Under cloudy skies and close hanging ground mists that defied aerial observation, 
The very much alive German army gathered its forces in the forest aisles to strike one strong, decisive blow at the American army. New and refitted divisions were brought up under cover of fog, darkness, and forest. A fury of robot and rocket weapons was unleashed against our front. Inside Germany itself, the Allies seize the famous Stadium of Nuremberg, scene of countless Nazi party rallies. With the capture of this famous southern German city, the American flag blouts out the swastika. In a symbolic gesture, American troops destroy the Nazi party emblem. When an invasion convoy clears the port of embarkation, the ASF has accomplished only the first part of its appointed task. It has mobilized from far and wide those men and resources which can solve the problem of logistics and give an army the power to invade and to invade victoriously. China's main support in the air. With never enough planes, fuel or ammunition to take the offensive, his men have accomplished miracles of defense. Correctly interpreting our attitude, the aggressors were all the surer that they could get what they wanted. Japan had started on her march of conquest. Italy had begun her new empire. And now the third gangster. What about him? We'll take him up on our next film and show how he joined his partners and put in his bid. For this is what we are fighting. Freedom's oldest enemy the passion of the few to rule the many. This isn't just a war.